Hi, and welcome back to another session in a course in numbers. In this session, we are going to discuss the very basic meaning of the words factors and multiples. Understand what factors means and understand what multiples mean. A very very easy concept, uh, but far ranging applications in factorials, in finding out number of factors, in highest common factor questions and lowest common multiple questions that is HCF and LCM and generally the process of factorization. So before we go into factorizations, factorials and detailed questions, just trying to understand the meaning of the word factor. So let's start with an example. Let's say you are given the number 20 and I ask you tell me what numbers from 1 to 20, right, up to 20 fully divide or completely divide 20. Uh, completely divide or fully divide means they do not leave a remainder of anything, right? So you should know basic division. So I'm asking you starting from going, starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, going up to 20, what are those numbers which divide 20? So I'll try them out. If I start with 1, I see 20 divided by 1 gives me 20 as the question and 0 as the remainder. So 1 divides 20. Similarly, I try 2. 20 divided by 2, yes, it works out, no remainder, 2 tens are 20, so 2 divides 20, right, or 20 is divisible by 2. Let me try 3, you can also try, 20 is not divisible by 3, you get something as a remainder or you get decimal as the answer, right, so 3, 20 is not divisible by 3, right, try 4, 20 is divisible by 4, so try this out for yourself, what numbers divide 20, right. So now these numbers which divide 20 are factors of 20 or the numbers which completely divide another number are factors of that number, right? So factors of 20 would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Very, very easy idea. Given a number, those numbers which divide this given number completely are factors, right? So another way of looking would be that 20 can it be re-expressed or uh, rearranged as a product of those factors. So 20 can be rewritten as 1 into 20 or 2 into 10 or 4 into 5, right? So factors basically help us re-look at the number, look at the parts of the number or what the number is made up of, right? Right, so I hope that was easy. Uh, it would be... 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, uh, 4 into 9, 5 into nothing. 5, 5 is not a factor of 36, so uh, nothing, your answer should have been nothing there, right? Or 6 into 6 also gives you 36. So these are the factors of 36. So how many ways can I express 36? Can I express 36 as 2 into 18, right? But I also see that 18 itself can be rearranged or rewritten as a product of its factors. 18 will also have factors, right? So can I rewrite 18 as 2 into 9, right? So now I have re rewritten 36 as 2 into 2 into 9. Can I do this thing further? Can I rewrite 9 as a product of two numbers, right? Or 9 divided into its factors. Yes, I can do that. 9 is the same as 3 into 3. So my 36 now is rewritten as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3, right? So basically, now not only we have understood what factors are, factors are numbers which divide a given number completely. We have also understood that we are also kind of going into the beginning of the process of factorization. So this is a factorized form of 36, right? If you have done indices, you can also say 36 is... 2 square into 3 square, right? Let's try one more example. What about 11? 11 has only two factors, right? 1 and 11. There is no other number between 1 and 11 which divides 11 completely, right? Or this is our introduction to the idea of prime and composite numbers or maybe a reintroduction. So a prime number is unbreakable, cannot be divided. I know I have written it as 1 into 11, but 1 is really not there, right? So I can remove the 1. So 11 is the same as 11. So it is unbreakable. You cannot split it into factors. The only factors are 1 and the number itself, right? That means no other factors other than the number 
and the number one. But one is a factor for everything. So can I say prime number has only one factor, which is itself other than one, right? And compare it to the other number, 15, which can be rewritten as 1 into 15, as well as 3 into 5, right? That means 1, 3, 5, and 15 are factors of 15, right? So basically a composite number, even the word indicates, composite means made up of more than one thing. So it is made up of other numbers. So 15 is made up of a 3 into 5. That means 15 can be break, broken down. It is breakable. It is more like a molecule, whereas a prime number is like an atom, right? Just an idea for prime numbers because a lot of questions will happen and whenever you try factorization, you'll always begin with using prime numbers. So if I say ask, if I ask you to find the factors of 100, you'll try whether it's divisible by 2 and 5 and, and 7, etc, etc. Because prime numbers will be very useful in the process of factorization, uh, as well as there could be a few questions directly on the concept of prime numbers, which we'll discuss separately. But just an idea, so start with 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and keep going up to 100, find out how many prime numbers are there. This is a homework for you. You can also Google uh, prime numbers and find out more interesting stuff about prime numbers. Even now, one of the most interesting problems is to find a formula to find out all prime numbers, right? So, so far they haven't been able to do that or have they? So that also you can find out for yourself. So just to give you a taste of what factorization would be, factorization would be taking a composite number and reducing it to its prime constituents or prime factors, right? So expressing it in a break broken form, not only that, but reducing it all finally to the prime numbers only. So 36 fully factorized would be rewritten as 2 raised to the power of 2 into 3 raised to the power of 2, right? 